Hello YouTubers, thanks for looking at the video today. We have something kind of interesting for you about what happens if your battery goes dead. I mean, that can happen to anybody. But what happens if your battery goes dead? Well, you're kind of fortunate because on this key fob, there is a little button right here. And if I hold that button down, I pull out a key. It looks like a half key, okay? Now here's the thing about the key. If I take the key over here, now you gotta have a screwdriver. <laughs> if I take the key over here and I put it in there, I have to take the plate off and there's a place to put the key. Turn the key, actually turn it to the right. And what does it do? It pops open the rear hatch, okay? Uh, but the only thing bad about this is you can't get to the front seat yet. So how are we going to do that? So, if you can't get in the front of the car through the, through the back of the car, which you cannot, uh, you have to find some way to get in the front of the car. And you can get in the front of the car by taking this same key, and we have to stick it under here. It's about right about, right about in here. It has to go up in here. And I'll give you a shot. Let's see if I can catch it. There's this place there where you see where the key goes in right there you go up this way and keep the butt of the key keep the butt of the key uh sticking out this way okay and then just turn it to the to the right and it should open the door now you're in the front of the car oh that's great i'm in the front of the car but the battery's dead and guess where the battery is <laughs> the batteries are dead and the battery's in the front of the car so how do we get the frunk open well, if the battery's dead, I'm gonna show you. To get in the trunk, oh boy, <laughs> I have to get way down here. To get in the trunk, there is a spot you have to get to, which is, let me bring the light over here. There is a spot you have to get to. You see that little ring hanging down there? Right, right there, see the little ring? You gotta pull that ring twice, and if you pull that ring twice, it'll pop open the frunk, F-R-U-N-K, I guess how you spell it. <laughs> so now, we're gonna get the frunk open. Okay, now we're gonna try, we get the tr trunk, frunk, front, frunk, trunk, whatever the heck you call it. The frunk is open. And now that we get the frunk open, we're gonna go in and charge the battery up, because we have a, our scenario here is we have a dead battery. So, two things. One, you have to have one of these, and if Patty is staying right there, that's good, honey, right there. If you see this, this is one of these charges that you get, or you can get. They're about a hundred bucks. Go spend the hundred dollars. Spend eighty thousand dollars on a car. Spend a hundred bucks for a charger because you're going to need it. Now, the other thing I want to mention before I show you how to use this is that there are a lot of modules on this car that use electricity and that means only one thing if you this car sets a long while battery's going to go dead so what you have to do if you're going to go away for a week two weeks something like that or more get one of these charges and make sure you plug it in and charge it while you're away now how do you plug it in oh this is wicked easy this looks like a cigarette lighter and that's a cigarette light a container over here you just lift up this flap and plug it in right there then you take the other part of your uh, charger and you plug it into an extension cord which I have over here because I can't reach over to the wall plug and charge your battery and then when you put it down you bring it down about this far and just let it sit there and you're all set the wires no problem and you can charge your car I'm hearing of some people whose car battery seems to be not working and the transmission is locked up. So how do you get the car to the dealership on a flatbed? You, are they going to drag the car onto the flatbed? There's some serious problems here that you have to address. We think, meaning we all people that I watch and the people that... Uh, post have come up with an idea that seems to work and I'm going to show you what it is. 
your battery is back there. In order to get to the battery, there's a flap here you gotta pull up, right here. See this one right here? And it's got little uh, uh, attachments there. The same on the other side, and then this whole thing, this whole thing, it all pulls up too. And the battery's right there. I'm not gonna pull them all up because some of the tabs tend to break off. I don't know why they built it that way, but some of the tabs tend to break off. And if they break off, you know, now you gotta go and buy another piece. So I'm not gonna pull mine off, I'm just gonna tell you the battery's right there. Now what do you do if the transmission is locked and you can't get at it? The workaround that I've been reading about now sounds like it's, it's, it's a workaround, a real one. You get to your battery, take the negative portion, that's the black wire, not the red wire, don't touch the red connector, take the black wire and disconnect that. Well, gee, you're out here in uh, Joe Schmo's restaurant and uh, you don't have any tools. What are you going to do? Well, this is what I'm telling you you should do. This is a little 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. You can Any kind of wrench is fine. Open-ended is fine too. And you're going to need this to get the nut off of the terminal, the negative terminal, the black one, to get that off so you can disconnect the battery. And that's the only thing you take off is the black terminal, not anything. Don't touch the red one, just the black one. Wait for 15 or 20 minutes. Put the terminal back on, tighten the nut back up. And from what I'm reading, everything works again. The transmission works, you're able to back out, drive your car home. But what I'm telling you is, just to be on the safe side, have a 10 millimeter wrench. There's pockets here, there's two pockets. Stick one in the pocket right there. Then I'd take the battery charger and I'd stick that in there too. So it's always here in the car because you might be somewhere and all you need, your battery's dead, but your transmission's not locked up. So all you need to do is recharge your battery. So you, you know, you get somebody with extension cord or you're near a wall socket or something, you can charge your battery up. So keep this in the car. Wrap this up, put it in one of these pockets. There's a pocket here, there's another pocket over here. Get the charger. <laughs> Unless you like rolling the dice, it's up to you. But I'm sure as heck gonna have the charger. Not only will I charge this if I let the car set for a couple of weeks, but I'm also gonna make sure that uh, the charger is in the car anywhere I go in that 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter open socket, closed socket, ratchet wrench whatever you want to call it, uh, can get at that nut so you can disconnect the black or what they call the negative side of your battery. Wait 15 minutes or so, put it back on and you should be, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. This is your brother Bob here in Central Florida. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want to. Make a comment. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.